Angels versus Humans. Why Create Mortals with Fragile Souls? Understanding God's Purpose in Creating Humanity. In the vastness of the heavens, surrounded by the brilliance of angels, each a divine being with an immortal soul, one might wonder, why would God create humanity? Why, when he already had countless celestial beings at his side, did he decide to bring forth a creation of dust and earth, mortals with fragile lives? Angels, according to the scriptures, are eternal. Their souls cannot be killed, not even by God himself. Though he holds the power to capture and enslave them, as he has done in the creation of hell, he cannot destroy them. Hell was made to enslave these fallen beings, to make them suffer for eternity. A place of torment, where their divine rebellion is met with unending punishment. Man, however, was created differently. Unlike angels, humans are made of the earth with a soul that is mortal, fragile, and finite. The Bible tells us that God placed the tree of life in the Garden of Eden, a gift that could grant everlasting life to humanity's soul. But why create man with a mortal soul? Why not make him immortal, like the angels? In the book of Revelation, we learn that the tree of life will follow the redeemed into paradise, ensuring their souls live eternally in God's presence. This tree, however, is more than just a symbol of life. It represents God's control over humanity control that differs from his relationship with the angels. Angels, though eternal, possess a degree of autonomy that led to the rebellion of Lucifer and his followers. Their immortality made their revolt possible, an act that disrupted the divine order. With man, God ensured a different kind of relationship, a relationship where he holds ultimate authority, even over life and death. The Bible speaks of everlasting happiness in heaven for the redeemed, but this promise comes with a caution. Just as God can grant eternal life through the tree of life, he can also remove it, allowing the soul to die. This is a safeguard, ensuring that there will never be another rebellion like Lucifer's. Hell with its torment kills the mortal soul. But even without hell, a soul cannot live without the tree of life. For those who reject God's eternal control, there is only one alternative, hell. A place where the soul, cut off from the tree of life, dies an eternal death. This is the stark choice presented to mankind. Accept God's eternal dominion or face the ultimate consequence of separation from his life-giving presence. In creating man, God designed a being who, unlike the angels, is bound by mortality but also offered the hope of eternal life. This hope is not a guarantee but a choice. A choice to live under God's authority and receive his life-sustaining grace. Why did God create man? Perhaps to establish a relationship rooted in dependency a connection where man would recognize his need for God's grace and choose to live under his loving dominion. For in God's control lies the assurance of eternal life, and without it, only death remains. Choose life, choose God, and embrace the eternal plan he has for you. In his hands, your soul will find its true purpose and everlasting peace. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content exploring the mysteries of faith and the divine plan for humanity. May God bless you and guide you always.